Chat School Online. I am Teacher Leah from Nairobi West, PCA Nairobi West Sunday School. I know you're ready for a lesson today. Are you ready? Yes, I know you're ready. And so to start off our lesson for today, are we going, let's close our eyes and say a word of prayer. What do we do when you want to pray? We put our hands together, we close our eyes and let us pray. Mighty God, everlasting Father and King of Kings, we adore you this morning. We come before you with our repentant hearts, O Lord. We ask the Lord you may forgive us wherever we have gone against your word, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you have done into us, giving us a new day that you may come and learn your word, Father. We commit our teachers, our students, and every other person who shall be listening to our lesson for today before your able hands. For it is in Jesus' mighty name do we pray and believe. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. And we are going to have our lesson as we start. Let us have this song that says, I've got joy, joy, joy in my heart. I've got a joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got a joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. I am so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in 
big my heart. I am so happy, so very happy. I have got the love of Jesus in my heart. I have got a peace that is understanding down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I have got a peace that is understanding down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. I am so happy, so very happy. I have got the love of Jesus in my heart. I am so happy, so very happy. I have got the love of Jesus in my heart. Children, I know you're ready to learn today. And so let us hear what our lesson is on our Bible story section. Hello boys and girls, I welcome you to our Bible story section. Today we have a new story lined up for us and I know you're ready to learn another lesson today. Before we hear our lesson for today, can we remind ourselves of what we learned last Sunday? Yes, I know we all remember. Last Sunday, we learned about having faith in God in all that we do. And so, boys and girls, today's lesson is coming from the book of Luke, chapter 15, from verse 11 to 32. And today, we are going to learn about how God responds to our rep repentance when we fully uh, go to God and ask for his forgiveness and that and how it makes God feel about us. We are going to learn about a parable that was given by Jesus. Do you know what parables are? Parables are stories that were used by Jesus when he was teaching the people and he would use these stories to, t to make people learn more about the kingdom of God. And so on this day, Jesus was teaching using a story about a man and his two sons. And these two sons, there was one who was older than the other. And so it happened that the younger son said to his father, Father, can I have all my inheritance? Why did he ask for his father's inheritance? He wanted to go away from his father's land. And kindly, his father loved him so, so much. In fact, he did not oppose what his son was asking. And so his father gave him all his inheritance. Children, when you're being given your inheritance by your parents, it could be in form of money, like you can see here. He was given money in form of dollars, and it was a lot of money, as you can see. And he carried all his money as he was given by his father. It was in a full sack, and he got all his money, and he put all his things together that he owned at that time. And he went to a far away country that nobody even knew. Boys and girls, do you know what happened when he got there? When this young son went to a far away country, and remember, his father was very sad when the son left. Why? Because he knew he was very immature. He would not even know how to handle the property, the money he was given by his father. And his father was a bit worried because he didn't know how he was going to spend his money. And so when this man, young man left, he went away to a foreign land. And when he got there, remember he had so, so much money. He did not have the knowledge on how to use the money. And so when he got there, he misused all the money that he was given by his father. He had so many friends who would come to him because of what he had. He had so many people who wanted to be associated with him because he would buy them expensive gifts. Sometimes he would go have fun with the many friends that he had gained. But suddenly something happened. All the money that he was given by his father, it got finished. And do you know what happened? All the friends that he had gotten because of the money he had, they all ran away from him. And now he didn't have anyone to even host him in or give him a place to stay. He had nowhere to stay. He started sleeping on the streets outside. And so it got to a point that he would even, he got so hungry, he had nothing to eat. And he thought of a plan. And so he decided to get a job. 
But sadly, no jobs were coming fall. And so the only job that he got was a job of feeding pigs. Do you know how pigs are dirty? And in, in his custom, uh, dealing with pigs was not a good thing because they, were, they, they would find them or they thought that pigs were very, very uh, untidy animals. And so that was the only job he got. He started doing the job. It was not a good job for him, but he had no choice. He had misused everything that had been, he had been given by his father. And so when he was still feeding the pigs, sometimes he would get so hungry and he would think that, how can I be this hungry that I'm feeding from the same food that the pigs are eating? And he remembered at once how many workers his father had in his farm and how much food they had. Sometimes they even had food to spare. And so he thought, there's no way I can be starving here. And my father is so rich. He has so much in, his, in our home. Why can't I just go back to my father and tell him, my father, I am not even worthy to be called your son. I do not even need you to call me your son. Just treat me like one of your workers. And that is how this young man, children, decided to go back to his home. And when he took off and went back, from a far distance, his father saw him. Do you know what? how his father reacted? His father was so, so happy. In fact, he ran as old as he was. He went and hugged and kissed his son because he was so, so happy that his son had come back. And you know what the son said? Oh, Father, I have sinned against you and against the heavens. I am not worthy to be called your son. Please take me just as, as one of your workers. But his father's kissed him more because he was so happy. In fact, he asked for a robe to be put on his son and a ring to be put on his finger. That was a way of celebrating the return of his son. And when all this was happening, a ceremony was held for the return of this son because as you, you, you've heard the story that he had run away from his home and now he's back. And so now they're celebrating the return of, his, of this lost son. Do you remember he had a big brother? Yes. And so when the big brother came from the farm, when maybe he had gone to investigate or to supervise what was happening in the farm, ah, he asked one of the workers in his father's farm, what is happening in my father's house? What is the celebration about? And he was told, you know what? Your brother who went away have returned home. Ah, this brother was so angry. He could not take it. How can my father celebrate this boy who went and, and wasted all his property? And he's celebrating him after wasting all his money. And I've been here working for my father. And he has never even celebrated me with even a small ram from this farm. And so the dad went outside. He tried pleading with the big brother to come and celebrate with him. And he continued complaining. There's no way you can do this to me. I have been a very royal servant to you. I've been a very royal son to you. I have been working for you faithfully. But now my younger brother is back and you're celebrating him. But the father, with all the love he had for the boys, he told him, you know what? Your brother was lost and now he's found. He was dead and now he's alive. And so there's need for jubilation because he has come back to me just the way he, was, he is. It doesn't matter. He, he lost all the property I gave him, but he's back to me. And children, that is how God feels about us. Whenever we come repenting to God about the bad things we have done, God is always ready and he it is the same way he responds to us when we are repentant. Children, repenting is when we, we are sorry for all the bad things that we have done and when we come to God asking him for forgiveness, he gives us uh, that kind of welcome. He hugs us and he shows us all the love that he has for us. Why? Because there's nothing that can separate us from the love that we have that comes from, our, from God to us. And so it is very important for us to know that God feels so, so good when we come back to him 
in repentance. Children, that brings us to our memory verse for today, which comes from the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 39. And the Bible says, What then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? Can we say that again, children? Romans chapter 8 and verse 39, the Bible says, What then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? And until next time, children, God bless you. And now, boys and girls, we've heard the beautiful story of this son who went back to his father seeking forgiveness. Huh? It was so beautiful. And now I want to introduce you to our Did You Know section. Boys and girls, welcome to our Did You Know section. Did you know it was a taboo? It was believed to be a taboo in the old times to handle pigs? I thought you should know that. Boys and girls, we are going to have our theme song for today, which says, Jesus' love is so, so wonderful. Welcome and have let, let's have our song. Jesus' love is very, very wonderful. Jesus' love is very, very wonderful. Jesus' love is very, very wonderful. So wonderful love. So high that you can get over it. So low that you can get under it. So wide that you can get around. So wonderful love. And now children, are you ready to work with your scissors and everything that you have? Let us welcome teacher Peter to our Bible craft section. Hello boys and girls. Welcome to our Bible craft section where we craft God's word. And where we find fun in working with glue, paper, and the scissors, and the crayons, and all colorful uh, kind of items. And so in our last lesson, we looked at Jesus healing a boy, and we were able to make the talking lips. And here is part of the work that you did. My name is Precious Onjiku. I'm from Dama Christ School, the Goto. children we, or boys and girls we have talked about the prodigal son or we have been taught about the prodigal son and one item that came through in that story is the the pigs because we are told that the prodigal son decided that he was going to work uh, on the pigs or he was going to feed the pigs so that he will be able to find something for him to survive on and so in our bible craft for today we are making the pig. And so for us to make the pig, what do you need? You need to have an A4 paper. Then once you have an A4 paper, you'll need to have uh, some other color of papers. This time I chose on pink. And you as well need to have another uh, kind of shade of pink or any other color that you have, uh, which is right here with us. Then you'll also need to have uh, toilet paper roll or the, the hard part of the toilet paper, the one that has already been used, like the one that I'm holding on. This is basically something that I've just uh, colored using the uh, food color. For this, we have used color green. For this, we have used color red. Uh, is it red or pink? Either of those. Eh? So you'll be able to make or to be able to make the, the pig. So you'll to be able to make the pig, now that we are clearing our space so that we work on our pig, or the pig, so we have our paper, you'll be able to draw the, uh, the, uh, the, the, 
the head of the pig. So there we draw the head, then we, or a circle, then pick your scissors, then cut around the circle. If you can't draw uh, basically using your hand, you can easily make use of a round object to be able to come up with a round or a circle. So you'll be able to have that circle and cut, cut around it. Cut around it, cut around it. If you don't know how to use the scissors, ask for help from either mom or dad or someone who is around you. So we have our circle that has already been cut. And as you do that, you'll be clearing your space. Then once you have done that, you'll as well need to draw the eye and another eye. For this one, I drew it looking on the side. The, the um, pig is looking on the side. So this one, I want to draw it looking at the front. So I'll have the, the pupil right inside the circle and another pupil right inside the circle. Then once I've done that, I should be able also to draw the mouth. Eh? So there is the mouth. Even for this one, we never did the mouth, so there is a mouth over there. Then pick your pink paper and cut through at the center if it's of this shape. So make sure that you have just a strip of paper that we'll be using to make the legs of the, the um, pig. So you'll cut it into two other halves so that it's shorter. We have it right there. Then pick your glue stick and put the legs onto the head of the pig. There and there. Then remember sometimes back I also taught you how to cut some love hearts and make some the ears of the pig. So pick the paper, fold it into two halves because you want to have two pairs of ears. Then once you've done that, fold it again into two other halves. Pick your scissors on the side that is uh, closed, cut through and make an arc round and round. And there we come up with a love heart. And so this love heart is what we are going to use to make the ears of the pig. Then with your glue stick, you stick them onto the head of the pig. So right there we have our ears already stuck. Then you'll pick your the toilet paper roll. Then with some glue, you'll stick it right uh, in between or um, on the center of the circle so that you have your, the nose of the pig right there. So we have these that we have just done and we have these that we had done. But before we finish, we'll need to make the tail of the pig, which is spiral. Eh? So once you do that, we will need to do that. You will need to have your marker pen, then draw a spiral line, a spiral line, spiral line, spiral line, spiral line, right there. Then pick your scissors. We'll cut alongside the line or onto the line, cut the line itself. Eh? You keep cutting, cutting, as uh, just spiral the way you had drawn it. You keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting. We want to make a tail that is spiral. You keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting, up to there. Then you should be able to cut off. So we have the tail right here, the spiral tail of the, of the pig. Then with the tail now, with the glue that has already been put on the tail, we should be able to stick it right behind there so we have the tail of the pig up there. So we have the mouth of the pig, or the nose, sorry, the nose of the pig and we have this other one that we had just 
or we had done earlier on. This is what we've just done. And so children, if you want us to see the work that you have done, please send it to this number that is appearing on the screen right now. Thank you and God bless you. Sadly, boys and girls, we have come to the end of our lesson today. I hope you have learned a lot of things. And now we are going to end with a word of prayer. What do we do when we want to pray? We close our eyes, we put our hands together and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day you have given unto us. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to come and learn your word. We are so grateful, Lord. We pray that you may bless our teachers, bless our guardians, bless our parents, dear Father, and may you give us a reason to be and to meet here on the next lesson that we shall have. We thank you, God, for all that you have done unto us, dear Lord. And it is a prayer of faith. In Jesus' mighty name, do we pray and believe. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Boys and girls, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed. Also, like and share our videos on Facebook and also tag a friend. Give them a reason to watch and also hear what we are also learning. And until next time, stay safe. Bye-bye.